All right, y'all, before we get started in today's video, I got a bunch of mail that I got to open. So let's get started with that. We'll see what we got. Um, we're doing the little door thing, so if you guys can send us stickers, we'll put them up on the door. And uh, we had a bunch of different companies reach out to us to send us stuff, and the door thing's pretty cool. Uh, we got we got, we got got a bunch of stuff here. Alky Diggers, Holly, Dart. Sorry, Dart and Sleeves, uh, T Cam, Performance Cam Motion, Dieter's Custom Finishing, RJS, Panty Dropper Racing, T and D Machinery. Uh, I mean, there's so many up here. Race Parts Solution, Clapped Out. I mean, I'm trying to read them through the little viewfinder. It's, it's quite interesting. Let's see what we got going on today. How about that? All right, so I already got a, a bunch that I opened for just from packages from the past couple days, and uh, I got some more DCF Dieter's Custom Finishing stickers. I can't thank the guys over at Dieter's enough. Joe C absolutely killed it. Uh, the intake he had his boy Dirty Mike doing, and it just looks absolutely awesome. The camera doesn't really do it justice. I can't wait to get everything on the car to show you how awesome it is. But uh, Joe C used one of his guys is ZZ GFX, so I think that's uh, graphics. This, I think this is the guy that does all of his stickers. So J Joe C stickers are absolutely killer, uh, along with a bunch of Dieter stickers. I mean, I got a bunch. This is my favorite one. It's a black carbon fiber sticker. We're going to put this on the back of the Grand National. Um, he's got the blue outline, the red outline, the hashtag DCF ev everywhere. And then we've got a big one, a big DCF sticker for the other door because we got to let everyone know who polishes our stuff. Uh, along with that, his boy, another black carbon fiber one. I absolutely love these stickers. This is uh, Jacob's Welding and Powder Coat. And he's the guy that did the powder coating on our tank up there with Joe C. So I uh, can't thank guys enough up at Dieter's for doing an amazing job. Uh, we're going to do a little photo shoot down in uh, Bradenton with the Accidental Show Car. Uh, along with that, I got some Wilson stickers because, you know, we got to love our guys at Wilson, Wilson Manifolds. Um, they sent us some fuel rails. They sent us uh, a throttle body in a bracket system with that, and it's absolutely awesome. So, uh, myself and the guys at Wilson, I, I cannot tell you how much I love everything that the guys over at Wilson do. Uh, and they're just an absolutely amazing company. Uh, some more DCF stickers. Absolutely awesome. Let's see here. This is from... David, some stickers for your door, a carburetor sticker, turbo sticker, and Summit stickers. So, can't forget Summit. We actually use the back side of Summit, which is A-Tech, but we got a bunch of stuff off there. Demon carburetors. Wouldn't know one of these if I was staring at it, or if someone threw it, hit me in the face. Wouldn't know what that is, but that's going on the door. And then I got a uh, blown money sticker, because who doesn't get along with that? David, thank you for sending us that stuff. Let's see what we got going on here. We got a big box from... Let's see, who's, who's this from? This is from Dart Machinery. Ho oh, ho! Ben! We got a box from Dart. I don't know. I'm trying to open it with an Allen wrench. They first impressions, Dart uses some very secure packaging techniques. Kicking my Allen P's ass. Oh, we got a banner! God, I love banners. We have so much space in the shop to put these banners up. It is absolutely awesome these companies get behind us. Wow. Ben, look at this. This is nice. This is nice. As you guys know, I'm running the dart stuff on the world record motor. Look at that. That's a nice fancy banner. That's a good looking banner. I like it. Here, take, take that for me. Take it in the other room. Let's see what else they sent us. This, is a, this, this box has some weight to it. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, they sent us a little bit of everything. Oh my God. Ben, they know you too well. Come here. From the guys at Dart, just for you. You're not going to believe what they got you. We hung out with the guys at Dart up at the PRI show. <laughs> wow, that's, look at the packaging. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh my God. And then they sent us some shirts. So thank you to the guys at Dart. Yeah, thank you. Love the product. We're gonna try to go fast the cylinder heads, and they sent us some uh, some stuff to look at. Wow, they want me to spend even more money. Let's see what we got here. This is from American Speed Shop. I watch these guys. These guys actually do the motor for Juan the Bullet's car. That's your guy, Juan the Bullet. Ooh, Phil's standing that. behind the camera, a little behind the scenes. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. All right, here. Oh, I he sent you big stickers. Hey, man, I hope the sticker is big enough. It is quite large. Oh, God, it's black carbon fiber. That's like my favorite sticker. Um, American Speed Shop is a performance-based machine shop. 
Oh, literally American Speed Shop in parentheses ASS, their abbreviation ass. <laughs> that's that's too funny. <laughs> Performance uh, based machine shop specializing in late model and LS, LT, LSX, and LTX engines. Follow us on Instagram. Keep on keeping on, man. Love the videos. Want to haul ass? Call ass. Wow. Literally <laughs> best slogan ever. They got their Facebook. I'll put it up on the screen. At Ass Machining. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So check those guys out. If you guys watch the Bullet Juan WS6, um, he uh, he uses them. They, they take his motors and, and machine them and make them go fast. So um, listen, if you're doing Juan's motor, you best tighten the head studs another 10 pounds because he's going to need it to keep up with me this year. Uh, other than that, I think that's all we got going on. Let's get into today's video. If you can't tell by the thumbnail, it's going to be hot and spicy. All right, another day, another Colorado video. And what do you know, Joey's got his hands in the rear end. Just another day here at Ellis Nasty, starting off pretty weird. All right, so last... Uh, Last video you guys saw, we were talking about uh, the transmission. We got it in there. Oh! That's nice. It's gonna work. Now, what's your. What, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna drill holes into this? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill holes in them to go into the mount, and then I'm gonna weld it here, and I'm gonna weld it on the top. And is that the, the perfect. Look, it's sitting there right there. Wait, is that the. Did you take the zoomies off? Oh, wait, no, the zoomies are still in place, sir. Wow, wow, this one about fell out, but we're all right, but yeah, it's sitting there right now. it literally, it, it's got it in, in its exact orientation that it needs to sit in, huh? All right, all right, so what are you doing today? Let's, let's talk about, hold on, let's, let's just talk about the people, let's talk to the people about rear end. So this right here is Chevrolet Performance Sport, I think it's a seven and a half inch, Yeah. rated for about seven horsepower. Got an open carrier in it. Open carrier. So, here, will that rag get caught up if we spin it? Oh, Alright, so what we're talking about open carrier. Sorry. That's sorry. sorry. This. Is this. One, so, see how one's, one. One tire fire. This right, this right here is a one tire fire. See how one tire's going? The other one's. Oh, it's eating the rag. Hold ah. on. It allows for this one tire action, which is. Good if you're driving around on the street. Not good if you're trying to rip burnouts and go drag racing. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, this rear end ain't gonna last anyways. It's got a little bit too much wear in it. Holy smokes, that is bad. Do that again. So, you, oh man, that thing is, you could, you could actually see the wear on the gear like yeah. no tomorrow. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is, as you guys see how this moves, well, if you weld these gears up, if you weld all these up, it becomes a spool because our own spool. yeah, because each wheel is going to be locked together then, and then the whole thing just has to spin. Um, doing burnouts and everything exciting like that, that's the only way to do it. One wheel burnout is not fun. No, it is not fun. But um, we're not going to build this rear end because there's like no aftermarket for it. It is just not nearly um, enough. Well, we yeah, it's not near. It doesn't have enough ass. This is not a man rear end. This is a little boy rear end. Yeah. And this suddenly got even weirder of a video talking about little boy rear end. <laughs> on, on this is gonna be a tough video to edit, folks. Um, we we are building an eight eight. The eight eight is like, I think the ultimate budget rear end yeah, because really it doesn't. So this thing, what is nice about this rear end is it doesn't. You don't have to buy a nine inch third member uh, or center section. Um, everything goes right in the back. One thing that is dangerous about this is there's definitely not C-clip eliminators. So if we're doing a burnout and we break an axle from all our horsepowers, we could literally lose it right out the side. Ben, we have great experience with C-clip eliminators, don't we? With Without C-clip eliminators? Oh, it's not a good time. No? What happened the last time we did that? We lost the wheel. <laughs> and an axle and a drum brake right out the side. And this is perfect. This, if you're looking for a good recipe for disaster, drum brakes and then no C-clips. Or I should say no C-clip eliminators. This thing has C-clips. Uh, and you are ready to go down Shit's Creek without a paddle. Yes. So this is the, the only way that we're going to keep this rear end alive is if we weld it up and then we keep the shitty tires on it so it doesn't see any load. It just goes into instant wheel spin. Yeah. 
which is the only way. Don't you agree, Ben? Only way to keep this rear end alive is plan for instant wheel spin. Yeah. Well, so, <laughs> so we are, uh, we're ready to weld it up. So what the strategy here, which I'm also gonna talk, I'm like all over the place. It's like I just did crack. I don't know what, just hyper. Um, we're just gonna literally fill this in until this is a giant block of filler rod, spin it around and, and do then the other and do the other side. Phil, what do you think about that gear? Mint. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. That play is mint, like minty. That is mint. The old Miller spool coming up. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said. We call it the Lincoln Locker, we're calling it the, the Miller Locker. <laughs> so, I said the perfect recipe for disaster. No C-clip eliminators, drum brakes, weld a diff. Oh, we're gonna be sending my brown sugar in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> that lean, that it's lean. Like my engine stand one, is when you roll it too much and it doesn't have the C clip on it, yeah. and, uh, the, and the wheels. Yeah, and then you, the motor falls over. Except for this is gonna tip over on the side. Phil, what you doing? I ain't working on my Sorry, Pop. That's a Lincoln locker. It's a Miller locker. We're making it mint. How how excited are you? Go ahead and weld. Look at the look on Chris's face. The look on Chris's face. Why don't you just take the C clips off and weld the axle on it? Because we're just gonna shove some filler rod in there, spin it around, shove some more filler rod. Can you access it from the other side? Well, oh, yeah. If you spin it, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. That's why they call it open diff. Yeah. It's literally open on both sides. That that is really the only concern that I have, right? They got some play in it, right? But you know what it's gonna do? Hey, hey. Now listen, it's gonna let the RPMs. It's gonna be like, hey, why don't you just stick another shim in it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That that little bit of play is really gonna let us get a good run at the converter, <laughs> as it before it gets any load. It's gonna <laughs> that gear is gonna go from zero to two hundred real quick. <laughs> it's literally gonna preload the gear. <laughs> look, at the wear on the, look at the wear pattern on the gear. It's like. All the way out. Yeah, it's there. There's it's beat. Soon to be a <laughs> piston gear. <Gusa. laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Tooth delete coming up. Yeah. It probably is for real too. Oh my God! Thing, let's get the tooth delete. Whether it wants it or not. Well, it was nice knowing you, good buddy. <laughs> yeah. Better start ordering stuff up for the eight eight. <laughs> Now mind you guys, I'm gonna tell you this right now live in front of Joey. I've never seen Joey weld before. So this, if this goes south, we're just gonna keep it in the video. So Joey, no pressure. No pressure? No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> he, hey, what if, he, what if he pulled out a piece of the welder's glass on a damn pair of pliers and held it in front of his eyes? He was that old school. Damn, oh God, he's wearing Logan's mask. He's probably got a different mask. Yeah, should... One that works. Oh, He'd be yeah. blind. No, I don't know about, is that? that, that is, yeah, that, my, mine's works. I'm afraid. Bro. He said mine's works. God, he was out here. Did you bring this one with you? Yeah, shit. <laughs> here, Phil, put no, that on. Put, put it on, Phil. No, I got a real old school. Mine don't even have I'll auto wear it, but not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're going to have to edit that out. Right? No, I'm leaving that in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go, folks. Is, are settings even necessary when welding up a diff like this? All right, don't look at the light, Phil. Don't look at the light. Good grief. Oh, God, fire! Fire! Already! Already! Really? God dang! Get this out of here! All right, we, we got a fire. Literally rookie hour. <laughs> Literally rookie hour. Hold on, I gotta get a thumbnail. Get a fire extinguisher. Don't wait for me. Oh, he says... Hurry up, like I like I need to get a look at Ben. <laughs> look at Ben. Hold on. This is a hey Joey, stand in there like you're gonna weld it up. <laughs> God, if I was on fire. Oh god! Oh my truck! My truck! <laughs> Are you kidding me? OSHA is about to be so pissed! Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is a prime example why you don't shoot at the base of the fire. <laughs> hey, Joey did not think one. 
<laughs> Joey did not think once maybe I should move. Maybe I should move the pot of flammable liquids. He's like, dude, literally the first ember falls right in there. I'm like, whoa, whoa, fire. You should, you should have found the one that I used on, uh, on Leek the one that just coughed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, open the door. No. Damn it, Joey. Oh, man. Joey was trying to show off for the video and literally, literally made art. Best video of 2020 so far. God, my. Don't turn the heater on. Open the door. I can't breathe in this thing. I can't see in this thing. I can't ride in this thing. I can't wait to edit this video. I know. This is going to be great. Now we have cancer. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Phil, Phil, give me, a, <laughs> give me a play by play of what just happened. Oh my god, so Joey, you know, obviously doesn't work with flammable liquids all the time. So my man left, uh, and basically, uh, fire started. Kit. Look at Chris, he's so win. over this. He's like, I just showed up here one minute. Joey, you can take that home and hang that up. Wall art. Uh, that's what you call not using your brain. Hey, he was still so welding. I was like, hey, fire. <laughs> he started welding. And I said, damn, that MIG welder's hot as shit. <laughs> I am weak. I am. Uh. I guess we're going to go home early today. Unfortunately. I'm dead. I am dead. I, I got to pause this. Uh.